Welcome to a little tour of all the blooms I have available today. And today is actually 24 hours after Cumbre Vieja decided to kick in the action with regards to whose volcano goes best <laughs> between Iceland and Spain. Oh well. Oh dear. Yeah, a little bit more complicated over in Palma. La Palma to be exact because there are buildings, homes, and everything in the way of the lava. So I don't know what the date is, but 24 hours after Cumbre Vieja decided to activate. And my patio is still a little place of solace. Thank goodness. And you see here, my little Rapiculus Lelias. I was gonna go with the smallest bloom to the XL size bloom, but I was getting so muddled up in my head while trying to organize this video based on bloom size, I just thought, look, let's have a look at all of the blooms and let's start with Lelia regentii. Gorgeous little bloom spike. Very, very pleased with this result. And we have more coming. No, this is not going to blast. This is what they look like. They have little like tips that are discolored on the end. And then you can see when they open up, those are the tips right there, discolored on the end. Looks ominous on the camera, but it is not as brutal looking, like it's gonna blast. And let's have another look, see. Oh yes, the two Regentii is right here. So this is one piece right here. And because we're expecting rain, I wanna do this a little bit earlier because these blooms actually don't last very long. And I want to show you what hopefully one day my Rapiculus Lelia table will look like when you see more and more little blooms like this coming up, which is another Regentii right here. Going a little bit all over the place. So that's one, they were actually one plant, these two, and then I split them up because they kind of fell apart. And then I potted them up differently. And that is it for my little Rapiculus Lelia table. And I'm sorry for the jiggle, I don't understand why it does that. I would have thought by now my pulse isn't being registered. Anyway, let's look over here. Can you believe it? I still have a Leodoro sweet memory. So yeah, I know I want to enjoy her in my blooming alley, but I want her also to enjoy some rain. So when that comes, everybody's out of their masks again and they were gonna get completely drenched. That's why she's out here, just so that I don't forget her. Gorgeousness. Right, we're gonna head over to higher lofts at this moment. Up in the alcove is Van der Leppard Jan. Both spikes have opened now. They're lasting super, super long based on the time of year that they have opened. Look at that. Oh, so pretty, very fragrant as well. They have this beautiful, sweet fragrance right now. Sweet as in honeysuckle, sugar, sweet kind of fragrance. Gardenia maybe pushing it a little bit, but they're very, very beautiful. Great show up here. And here we are now in my blooming alley. I do have Dendrobium Pibiki, Superstar, 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 stop jiggling. I'm not doing anything. Why are you doing that? Goodness me, it's very annoying. I, now, I'm jig, now I'm jiggling because I want that jiggling to stop. So I do apologize for that. Let's see if that helps a little bit with that setting. Superstar, oh wow. Oh, such a pleasure this orchid. Such a pleasure. Look who's opened next door. Tolumnia Golden Sunset. Just opening her first spike. It's going to be quite the show because I have all these other branches already coming. That's a great blooming. My Tolumnias are doing so much better and we can jump over to Golden Fire all these references with regards to fire. Not a good time, really. This is the second spike to open. The first spike is over here. 
the main blooming is fading and the branching is back here. Also just opening. So this Tolumnia first time with two spikes. I just love it. And then I've got golden peacock. Lots of golden as well going on. Fire, golden, golden, golden. Three times golden so far. Love that. Absolutely love that. And then here is Lady Chatterley. Actually, Phalaenopsis corn with survey variety Chatterley Day. Also, way out of its blooming season, but whoa, not complaining, I'll take it. And then as I look around, as I look around, I've still got Panarica prismartocarpa, the one spike in bloom. The first spike has now faded, all the blooms have dropped. But this one is still there, still pretty with a bit of afternoon sun on it. Nice. I've got another one that I wanted to show you as we back off for a moment. Sorry about the background noise. And we go down. Oh, <laughs> all these blooms I'm showing you, apart from the Tolumnias, normally are not available this time of year in my blooming alley. This is way, way late. Vanda Rainbow Forest. I've been told it's Vanda Peaches. I am not convinced. I'm not convinced this is Vanda Peaches. Like, the blooms are starting to fade, but it's still an amazing, an amazing show. I've still got eight full spikes going. Incredible. And the fragrance is amazing. Now, this is a really super sweet honeysuckle. This one really is controlling the fragrance of my blooming alley. And then, last but not least, C.G. Roebling Blue Indigo. Look, I cannot believe that I got bloom out of this orchid this year. Two. From the smallest growth, the one I was not expecting to bloom. I got me two gorgeous, gorgeous blooms. So happy. Also, way too late in the season, in my opinion. But I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain. So that is the smallest growth. The biggest growth of the season didn't even have a sheath. And absolutely astounding. Look at the flares. Very, very dominant. I, I am surprised actually that this blooming is better than the first time bloom of last year, even though the growth is a bit smaller. It's a new lead on the orchid that is in bloom. So there's a lot of potential coming here. Very, very pleased, I cannot tell you. And it's got a very nice rose fragrance, but the Vanda next to it, the Rainbow Forest, it's way stronger so I can't appreciate the fragrance on this orchid unless unless I get up real close. Wow. And I have a shadow in my Maxima over there. Now if that were to bloom in October, maybe November, then that's that would be normal. And I'm hoping that this time it's going to be a beautiful bloom with that hot pink that I'm used to and not what happened early this spring. It was all a little bit frazzled looking. But yes, this is a little bit of a shorter video. I'm still happy that I've got things going on, that I have some blooms to show. But as I'm gonna put most of these out into the rain, I wanted to give you an idea of what is going on right now, as opposed to waiting and then maybe most of the blooms will be gone. So I appreciate your time. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Whatever you're up to, just one thing. Please, please stay safe and take care. Bye.